Washington. It is so wonderful to be sitting here and having tea with you today. Well, it's lovely to be with such a fashionable young lady, my dear. Thank you. I would just love for you to tell us about women's fashion in the 18th century because we know that you were a trendsetter. We know that you were very stylish. And we also know that you wore a beautiful pair of slippers at your wedding. We'd love to hear you talk about that as well. Oh, my dear, you're asking me to remember many years ago. You know, soon the general and I will mark 40 years since we said our vows of matrimony. But the memories are still very clear. It was a different time, you know, as we were wed way back in 1759 on that 12th night. And in those days, of course, we ladies in Virginia were still very much a part of the Empire of Britain. We looked to London and to Paris to be our guide. Our dressmakers assured us that we were a la mode, or in the ton, as it were. I had Mrs. Shelbury of, of Dean Street in London make me a lovely wedding ensemble. A gold brocade gown, cream petticoat shot with silver thread, and my lavender running to the purple silk dancing slippers with paste buckles. Now, in those days, of course, in Virginia, we danced, or as it was often said, we would die. And so ladies loved to show off their elegant step of the minuet with the lovely dancing slippers. And uh, I had my day. I wasn't always an old lady, you know. I had been proposed to many times before young Colonel Washington came into my life. He was already known as a great hero of the war with the French and was very handsome and a fine father to my children. Many don't realize he had beautiful red hair and blue eyes. So it was quite a picture he presented to me on our wedding day as he had asked his tailor, Mr. Lawrence, to make a suit of blue velvet for him to wear. And I put the dancing shoes to very good use as we were married at candle lighting hour. Lovely memories, long ago, but still fresh in my mind, my dear.